Hey YouTube, how's things? So, uh, check it out, I've made myself a main bar top cabinet. I know, pretty fucking awesome, right? So I actually bought this as a flat pack, oh, I can't even pronounce the word, flat pack kit uh, from a seller on eBay, uh, who provided sort of, you know, just literally the uh, the frame of the uh, the actual machine itself, which I then had to put together. And then I've made all the other bits and pieces myself, so I uh, had to buy the buttons separately, made the monitor bezel, the marquee, and the control panel bezel, uh, bezel? Control panel cover um, out of sort of separate bits of plexiglass. Um, I'll do a separate uh, little uh, montage type video uh, just showing sort of uh, how I actually kind of built the thing. But uh, let's just have a quick look at the actual machine itself. So, it's a six button layout uh, for Street Fighter type games obviously and we've got a couple of extra buttons on the front there and also what I have done around the back if I just move the machine slightly let's just make sure I don't push it off the table uh, let's see if you can see this so I've added in a little USB port around the back there just so that I can easily plug in keyboards, mice, uh, USB flash drives and things like that so I can stick extra game pads in there as well and also it means it's useful if I want to do any work in sort of Windows in terms of like uh, adding extra emulators and things like that in, in extra games and uh, also just there as well I've got an additional two arcade buttons and that's so that I can turn the machine off and also another one to exit the front end that I'm using and the particular front end that I am using, let's just push this back onto the table, um, is one called Maximus Arcade, uh, which you can see on the screen here. And it's one that you've got to pay for, but uh, I heard good things about it in terms of it being very user friendly, and it wasn't that expensive, it was about £17, so I thought I'd go for it after giving the demo a try, uh, which proved just how good it was. So got quite a few emulators on here now so I'm using an old version of MAME just because I know it's one that's highly compatible with all the ROMs that I've got uh, and um, doesn't seem to cause any problems uh, also got Model 2 emulator on here uh, a Dreamcast emulator which is a fairly new edition I just put that on last night and it's uh, using a null DC uh, got a Mega Drive emulator uh, Sega 32X emulator, Sega Master System emulator, uh, Game Gear emulator, uh, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, uh, PC Engine, uh, and I've got a separate one here for batch files and these are sort of non-arcade games or sort of different types of games and uh, some of these are things which aren't arcade games so like Streets of Rage uh, Remake v version 5 and um, some of these other ones here are actually things which run in a more recent version of main that I've got and I thought rather than sort of trying to figure out how to get all my old ROMs working on that I actually just made separate shortcut files uh, which you can sort of link to here and the Metal Slug games do work in main but for some reason they don't show up on the uh, the sort of main screen which is why again I put sort of uh, separate links to them here and uh, Ghosts and Demons which was a fan made sequel to Ghosts and uh, Goblins uh, Ghouls and Ghosts rather which was the second one uh, and also up here we've got Bobble Bobble the Lost Cave which was uh, again a fan made game where someone used the original arcade bob bobble rom uh, and inserted uh, basically loads of assets from uh, loads of home versions of bobble bobble so um, it's got a completely different sort of uh, cave layout uh, different enemies different power ups well not different power ups uh, but different collectibles and things like that uh, and um, yeah it's pretty good so as we're on this screen uh, why don't I quickly show the emulator in action using one of these games <coughs> so might as well go for Bobble Bobble Lost Cave. Okay, so here we are. Now I'm going to insert a coin by pressing this red button here and then starting here. Now, so I'm trying to play this one hand, it's going to be interesting. Uh, 
Okay, you get the idea from that one. So I'm going to exit out now, which I do with this yellow button at the front. And then using the side button here, I can navigate back to the previous menu. Let's uh, go for a little bit of this with a little bit of Marvel vs Capcom 2, why not? This is actually a hacked version which has got slightly different music because as I'm sure you probably know the uh, original game has got rather let's say interesting music and by interesting I mean shit. to really do much one-handed here but I'll give it a try see if we can pull some magic out of the bag no, I can't do all oh, most of an air who do can completely randomly there So yeah, that's uh, a bit of a demo of the Dreamcast there, so let's uh, exit out from there. And then, as the whole idea of this is that it's an arcade machine, or a miniature arcade machine anyway, I really probably should show you an actual arcade game, and I have got just one in mind, one of my old favourites. Let's coin up. Trying to do this one handed. Anyway, you get the idea. So, uh, rather than me trying to cack handedly do this one handed, uh, let's swap to a bit of footage of two of my guinea pigs uh, who did this for me yesterday. And those guinea pigs are my two lovely nephews, Jacob and Max. 
Wow, this is this game's not short than I remember to be honest. You can do it in about twenty minutes. Really? Oh well, pick a good choice then. Do, do, do. Oh, skeleton. <laughs> what was that? How was I able to do that? <laughs> oh, I fucking fell off the edge. Yeah. Don't do it, watch this. Wait. Oh, really? Oh, no. Damn. Wait, <laughs> There you go. Man, I have to be Alex, I'm really impressed by the quality of this as well. You've, you've done a really good job, actually. Mm, thank you. Oh, I, I mean it, this is brilliant. <laughs> like, I'd actually pay for one of these. I, I didn't pay him to say that. Yeah, I can enjoy it. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck this guy. It's him again. These guys are from Streets of Rage 3. Okay. Yeah, I didn't pay the uh, third one. Oh, should have been shot me. Now, here's an example of the arcade working in a three player setup using Model 2 emulator, uh, which is all wirelessly linked up. You can hear here that the emulators have got a tiny bit out of sync, but that's not a problem because it hasn't caused the network to fail and it would still be completely playable. Now, if you're a fan of old school arcade racers, you'd have instantly recognised that bit of start up music then. But this is, of course, Sega Rally, again working in a three player network, again all wirelessly via Model 2 emulator. Hee <laughs> hee poo. And finally, here's an example of another three-way network link-up, uh, and this time it's Virtua Racing using MAME 170B, again all linked up wirelessly over a LAN. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that I was going to include a little montage just showing how I actually built the machine. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's get on to some hot montage action. Hope you enjoy. 
that sounded weird
so there we have it the alcade in all its glory now there's just one final thing to do uh, now that we're back on this menu screen which is I just press the blue button here and then that closes the machine down so all done at the press of a button so uh, yep hope you've enjoyed watching the video about my first arcade build uh, I've been Mr Thunderwing, take care and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!